What up everyone, it's your boy Martin Lewis on another serious video. So today we're going to be talking about the Chris Ingham situation. This is part two. If you haven't seen part one, make sure to go check out as displayed on the screen here. I'm wearing that shirt. Go find that video. I'll put the link somewhere. You can go check that out just so you're up to date and understand the situation. So basically after everyone was flipping out, uh, Chris ended up putting a statement on his Twitter saying... We are aware of the certain untrue stories have been posted on social media platforms in the last 24 hours regarding Chris. These stories are not true and the accusations made are entirely without foundation. We are all very hurt and deeply upset by these cynical attempts to damage Chris' reputation and will take whatever steps are necessary to preserve Chris's good name. We are taking action and can't comment further at this time. As a result of the stress these false reports have caused to the whole family, the decision has been taken not to appear at the upcoming summer in the city event next month. This is not a decision that has been taken lightly and we want to apologize to our fans for this. Because they are taking action, they cannot comment any further. So they are getting lawyers involved. That's why Lauren hasn't really said much in her videos. I definitely think they wouldn't be going to events. A lot of people are saying they're not going to events because they would look guilty. Again, they could not be going to events because they can't talk about the situation and a lot of people would ask them questions. That could be a possibility. Another possibility could be because Chris will be getting a lot of death threats. In a lot of situations like this, a lot of you guys don't know, people get horrendous death threats. People get threatened that they will come to their house, do this, do that. Um, I'll give you an example, the whole Pizzagate situation that happened in Washington, that whole conspiracy thing. Workers that worked there had their life threatened. People said they were going to come to their addresses, burn their houses down. I've spoken to one of those people that used to work there. It was on my old channel, so I don't have the video anymore, unfortunately. They could have probably got even death threats at their own house. Like, who knows, you know? You just don't know until, I guess, later on when... It all comes out if it ever does. Now, at the end of my video, I talked about how you can show evidence that no one can argue with. Now, just end up posting this. Martin and MPL told me that this is how to prove that the messages are real. So here you go. Now, this is evidence that's hard to argue with. It really is hard. You cannot fake that. Until a lady challenged me, she actually posted a video showing that it can be fake. When I saw this video guys, I was like, what the hell? How the hell did she do that? Because if she can fake that, then maybe Jess can fake that too, right? Because I've never been in a situation when it's like that. And then a lot of people were in the comments coming up with conspiracies like, well, how do I know it wasn't Chris who sent you that message? Show us that you sent that message to yourself. But anyway, I messaged her on um, Twitter and got her, no, I tweeted her on Twitter and asked her to message me and she was really nice to message me and explain how she actually did it. So basically what she did was change the L and change it to a capital I. Because she changed it to a capital I, it matches Chris's real Twitter handle name, meaning his at name. As I said in my previous video, you cannot have the same at that someone else's has on Twitter. It's impossible. You can't do it. I've tried. Unless it's a different letter and you change it to a capital to make it appear like that name. Before that, she did tell me it was a fake account I created to look similar, then I blocked myself from it and then deactivated the account to hide the evidence. One of my friends was able to point out if that was the case and Jess did that, then she wouldn't be able to create an account like Jess did. Twitter actually holds your at name for 30 days or your account for 30 days, as confirmed on the Twitter website. And I actually tried myself okay so right now what i'm gonna do is create an account like woman a did as you can see i'm on twitter refresh it for you guys it's a real twitter not a fake twitter or anything like that <coughs> excuse me so let's go create it uh sign up 
name. Okay, so we're going to do the at, like he does, capital C, Chris, underscore, D, E. Now, she didn't put an L. She put a capital I, because that's how she did it. O N G E. Um, phone number, I'm going to put my phone number if I forget to blur it out. Whoops. But anyway, I should have blurred it out. But anyway, next, by signing up, you agree turn service, including call other will be able to sign up for your email number, blah, 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 blah. Sign up. We'll text your verification codes. May apply. Okay. So I've got to wait for this verification code. 77. One oh three one. Next, you need a password. Let's go into settings and privacy. I think that's how you do it. Um, this is it. Cap okay, I'm using, that's an I. Let's use a capital I. Username has already been taken. Chris Dill D Onge. Damn, so I can't use it. So that's how she would have done it. But the thing is, I can't do it. Therefore, this proves that this wasn't a fake account. Because if this was a fake account, the lady who showed me, let's name her Lady A, wouldn't be able to create an, a fake account in the first place because it wasn't past 30 days when Jess posted it. Therefore, therefore, it has to be Chris's Twitter. But the thing is, the only thing that video confirmed are these conversations, which are obviously inappropriate to have with like a 16 year old when you have a wife and a 30 something years old and have kids. It's obviously inappropriate. Hey guys, I'm sure there's gonna be a part three to this situation, so I'll see you in another video. Deuces.